the dork you grew up with on radio for 40 years is now in a tidy digital place. Doc on Demand, where you pick the topics, then you be on the dang podcast. Live now in the Eagle app. It is a, another episode of Doc on Demand. By the way, I'm Doc. Uh, this might be my least favorite episode uh, because it's going to kind of be about me. If you know me, if you've listened to me over the past 40 years, you know I like the radio shows and anything I do to be about you. However, the one cool thing about this is I've got some questions from you that I'm going to try to answer. Ten questions, matter of fact. So here we go in order. Number one, uh, why'd you come home? <laughs> that not, it kind of makes me wonder if this person didn't want me to come home. Uh, so, yeah, long story short, I grew up in this area, um, was on the radio uh, up until about seven years ago. I've I've moved west a few times in my life back in 1985 and also in the mid 90s, but um, it was back in 2015, I think it was that um, I to be really honest, there really wasn't any radio job around here, and so I, I moved out to Grand Junction, Colorado. Eventually ended up in in Twin Falls, Idaho, Casper, Wyoming, and and then uh, when the Eagle was born uh, about a year and a half ago. I was given the chance to come home, so that's why I'm home. All my, in case you don't know, all my family and all my friends are are pretty much here. So I'm home. Hope, hopefully, you're okay with that. Uh, question number two: What's the favorite radio station you've been on? Uh, good question. I'm going to think about this one. I, over 40 years, I've been fortunate to be a part of a lot of really great teams. Um, I it might be a tie to be honest with you, and I'm and I'm having a ball doing what I'm doing on Eagles, so I'm not going to include that. Um, probably 1987 through 89 on 99 Q and then in the, uh, mid nineties, 96 through 2000 on kick. That was an absolute blast. Um, so I'd say that's kind of a tie. I hope that answers your question. Uh, number three, who's the most famous person you've met? Uh, John Bon Jovi by far met uh, Bon Jovi backstage on the keep the faith tour in 1993. He's really short, by the way, nice guy. Uh, loves Elvis. I had a friend of mine uh, <laughs> who had mentioned, uh, knowing that I was about to 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 meet Bon Jovi, that uh, John's a real uh, big Elvis fan. Sure enough, he came backstage and and we had a listener with the radio station I was on, and um, he was wearing an Elvis Connection uh, letter jacket. So yeah, John Bon Jovi. Uh, question four: Who's the most famous person you'd like to meet but haven't? Uh, another good one. Uh, you know, I, I think I'd like to meet. Alice Cooper. I've never met Alice Cooper. I've seen a lot of interviews with him. Uh, you know, you think Alice would be this insane guy <laughs> considering what stage shows like, but uh, very articulate dude. I think Alice Cooper would be great. Uh, so he's definitely on the list. Okay, uh, question five. Favorite band? Oh, I, I got the, you're, There's no way hardly anybody has heard of the, my favorite band. Uh, Theocracy. Uh, T-H-E-O-C-R-A-C-Y. Theocracy, seriously, look these guys up. They're amazing. If it had to be like in a classic rock band, though, um, I I grew up with Kiss, Kiss Army. So there you go. Uh, <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Sounds dangerous. Question six, least favorite band. All right, I'll say it out loud. I don't like Supertramp. I, ju- I, just, I just don't. <laughs> I, just, I don't like Supertramp. No offense if you're in Supertramp. Uh, question number, uh, seven, can I be a DJ? Yes, you can. As a matter of fact, all right. So I'm going to guess you're asking this question, like do it for a career. Uh, yeah, uh, it's, it's different now than it was when I started out when I was in, I was a junior in Hannibal high school in 1983. Um, so now radio is very much a digital thing, right? You still got the on air thing, but it's, uh, frankly, it's a lot, it's a lot of digital stuff now. But the other answer to that question is, please know, if you're listening to this right now and you're anywhere near our studios here in Quincy, Illinois, you can come down any day and I will put you on the radio. So you have my open invitation to be a DJ with me anytime you want. Uh, Question eight. Do you listen to streaming services? Ha! Dangerous question. Uh, I have... I'm not a fan. I, I, I will add this, though. I, I do like, uh, there was one vehicle I was in that had serious radio built into it. I liked a lot of the uh, the niche 
um, like the hair metal uh, 80s channels. I like I like the fact that some of those services offer uh, very unique and specific listening situations, right? Um, but I frankly found it kind of soulless, right? It just, it just didn't have any life to it. It's just me. No, if, if you love streaming, service is great. Uh, it's just not my cup of tea. Uh, so question number nine, band that should have been big, but wasn't another great question. So in my opinion, the one band I thought was going to be huge and they were for about a year or two, but I thought they could have been bigger honeymoon suite. Uh, if you've heard the song, feel it again, what would it take back in 1986? The big prize album is still one of my favorite albums. Those guys, we're really about to go big. Derry Grand, by the way, great guitarist. He was on a Pepsi commercial back in the 80s that was on during the Super Bowl where he's playing the guitar solo and the Pepsi bottles are exploding. I am a Pepsi, not a Coke guy, by the way. So Honeymoon Suite, if you don't know the backstory, they're a Canadian band. They had put out um, the uh, an album in 1988. I'm thinking it was called um, like uh, The Other Side of Midnight, maybe something like that. So they were about to go on tour, I think the Monsters of Rock tour, when uh, Johnny D, who's their lead vocalist, I think he was hit by a car, seriously injured. So they weren't able to tour. And I think it was Warner Brothers, the record company that was handling Honeymoon Suite, kind of stopped really doing much in the States with them. And they kind of went back to being just more of a Canadian band. But I I always thought Honeymoon Suite could have been awesome. Uh, Final question, 10 questions with yours truly, (laughs) ever going to retire? (laughs) <laughs> I hear some sounds like wishful thinking by somebody. Uh, no, don't ever plan to retire. Plan to do this till I die. Th- that's either good news to you or a threat, <laughs> but it's all I know how to do. I've uh, gone and done non-radio things a few times in my life. Uh, always regretted it. So I, I plan to do this uh, until I until I drop, which hopefully isn't anytime soon. Uh, please know that uh, you are absolutely the star of my show. So anytime there's anything on your mind, Never hesitate to hit the uh, send message button through the Eagle app. You can even be on the radio through that thing. And if you'd like to come be on one of these podcasts, I would love to have you as a guest. We can talk about whatever the heck fire you want. All right. Consider that uh, your open invitation to be here with me. Doc on demand. No rules. No rails. No kidding. Now in the 100.9 Eagle app, you've been warned.